Ooh, look at this, guys. Curry is finished. Time to eat. I'm hungry. Get a piece of potato. All right, and a little bit of gravy. Ooh. And now we have some pumpkin. And food is ready. Hello, my kitchen backyard family. Thank you for being here today. I'm cooking a yard fowl and with potatoes. So it's chicken and aloo curry. And I season this overnight with garlic, onions, masala, curry powder, just everything that I'll be cooking it with. I put all that in there. I'm cooking outside here also on the fire side. But what I have here is uh, curry leaves. I love curry leaves or uh, carpoli for my Trini friends. And these are the magic of the masala and the curry powder, roasted jeera, mixed masala, and then all my Indian spices, extra spices there as well. And these are all my aromatics uh, for my curry. And thank you so much for leaving comments and let me know how you like to make your curries. And thank you so much for subscribing and being part of our big international kitchen backyard garden family. What I like to do first, I like to toast up these guys first. So I'll put that in there. My curry leaves in there as well. Coursing. Let's put in some onions to caramelize. We'll put in our masala curry powder on our roasted jeera in there. And let's just wash all this curry powder and all the good stuff into it. Third is you want the curry and the masala to also cook up well before you put in the chicken. I love pumpkin in uh, with uh, curries as well. And we're putting in some garlic and some scallions. I already seasoned with with green seasoning and lots of pepper. Some fresh celery from uh, the garden. Put some in there to cook as well. Guys, it's such a nice morning here in south florida beautiful day we've been having many cold days so it's a little cool right now like in the 60s and we're about to go do some work and so on we're doing gardening and cooking all at the same time i, lo I love cooking around the flowers and in the garden oh i love it my Masala is all bungee nicely. Now it's time to put the chicken and let it uh, cook down and bungee as well. But look, you see the oils are all on top. That means this masala is cooked perfectly. All the seasoning. Ah, look at this guys. Oh, all, all marinating and ready to bungee. You want to get all that nice green seasoning and everything out of there. Now what we'll do, we'll store in that masala and all the, the onions and the garlic and everything into the meat. 
then you cover it and let it bonje or bonjal we say it just means the, 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 the natural water will get out from the meat and cook with it and then we'll add a little bit more hot water to, for tenderizing turn it in Ah, smells delish. The aroma in this garden is, man, makes you feel hungry right away. And it makes you want to take a little drink. <laughs> so the salt and everything is in the curry already. I'm going to let that bunge nicely. And uh, let's, let's get, uh, let's cover it. Let that bunge nice, guys. Thanks to you again. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being part of our kitchen and thank you for being part of our lives. Love you guys. Take out the potatoes in a little bit. The potatoes will be finished way before the chicken. Uh, but I like to bungee the potato as well. Now I add my water. Everything is coming to a boil. And remember this is the chicken, the yard chicken or the yard fowl. So it's a little tougher than normal chicken. So a little extra water. And I'll cover it and just let it cook. Let's go cook the pumpkin upstairs. Let's cook our pumpkin. I came up here because I'm um, uh, just quicker and I'm getting hungry. So what I have here is some jira, some whole roasted jira. And now I'm going to put a little bit of curry leaves. And uh, here is some jira and masala. And this is some pumpkin. Oh, I love it. A little bit of curry pumpkin. Now I'll put a little bit of onion. And garlic. And some chives. Okay. And now basmati rice. Right now. And one trick. Is put a wooden spoon on top so it wouldn't flow over because rice is a quick thing to flow over on the stove. There we go, put in a pumpkin. This pumpkin is so good. I buy the whole thing and this is the last of it. So I need a whole new pumpkin. Now this is uh, pepper from the garden. Check it out. Just a little bit of pepper. And now a little bit of salt to taste. Now let's stir this up. All right, so the rice is finished. Now time to strain. What I'm gonna do now is just cover the pumpkin and let it cook on a medium heat. Hey guys, so I left it on a nice, nice heat. And uh, let's check on it. I don't have a big lid for this kahari. I just bought this kahari, and um, so I need, I'm looking for a lid for it. But let's see how it's looking. Nice little heat. Wow! Look at this. Wow, it's looking good. Nice. Mm. 
looking fantastic started to get very soft and the potatoes are here to go in again later with gravy now what we're we gonna do we're gonna add our potatoes or aloo back in there and uh, and now we're gonna do some finishing touches my friends but look how nice and tender oh man this is needs to get on actually and now we're gonna add a little bit of shadow benny shallots celery all that good stuff in here and a little bit of extra time as well i like to taste the freshness sometimes and our curry chicken is finished we have some pumpkin as well upstairs that's finished as well and our rice is time to eat and thank you so much i hope you enjoy this video let me and again leave a comment i love reading your comments and i love when you shout out where you're watching this video from okay and let me know um if you have ever tried any of our recipe as well how you like it Guys, we have to put one extra pepper in there. Oh man, look at this. How good this is looking. <laughs>